Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. No. I just want you to know and be able to say to you how deeply grateful I am to have my good friends here and that they're willing to do this for me. And uh, whatever questions you may have for any of us, uh, this is very handy. Don't ask you many questions. <laughs> Before leaving for Washington. Yes, we will. I don't. I don't really know what uh, the answer to your question there. Anything will uh, be appreciated. Are you going to spend a lot of time? Mile <laughs> hunch, I'll be there for some of the winter snows. What cabinet positions have you promised this gentleman? <laughs> well, it isn't a case of promise. What's your name? And the closed cabinet. It isn't a case of having promised them anything. I haven't figured out yet or tried to persuade them to join the cabinet. On a, on a serious note, in terms of fundraising, is this a technique that you hope will prove uh, fruitful a technique in campaign fundraising, perhaps less expensive than direct mail, more efficient than direct mail. I don't think that's any of your business. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a longest question I've ever heard. Well, let me say, let me say one thing. It's, it's a lot more fun uh, than the other ways of uh, raising it. Maybe we need a little more fun in campaigning. You, uh, there's someone over there, you? Yeah. yeah. My, name is, my name is Manuel Luis Castillas. I'm from Boston University Daily Free Press. And I would love to have my picture taken with the three of my oh. 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 Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you chosen Boston for this particular event? What's that? Why have you chosen Boston for this particular event? Well, you know, I have to tell you that I was not uh, involved in the in the decision about the, the location of this. Uh, those who planned campaign events were. I'm just very happy that it's here. And, uh, we're all happy to be here, but uh, I couldn't tell you why. I'll tell you why, because neither one of us has written a book. <laughs> <laughs> Governor, where does Massachusetts stand in importance to you well, in for primary? <laughs> New Hampshire and, and Rhode Island. Well, if you don't know where Boston is. Now, now you, 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 you may have heard the sensible answer, now I'll give the foolish answer. How critically... <laughs> Well, Do you regard Massachusetts? Well, Massachusetts, uh, remember, we're, we're, in a, we're talking about a primary. And uh, Massachusetts has uh, quite a slate of delegates, and they're very important at a convention. Will you court them as heavily as, say, New Hampshire's or other states? Uh, yes. Uh, last time, uh, 76, I didn't campaign at all, not for one minute in Massachusetts. That will not be true this time. How much money do you think you'll need for your campaign? What's that? Uh, I have never had an allegiance with the Kennedys. I had an allegiance with President Jack Kennedy. Well, yeah. that holds you for a little bit. <laughs> he, supported, he supported me when I was running for governor, and he's continued. Why do I support Governor Reagan? Because I think he's the proper man to be the President of the United States because it's so screwed up now that we need somebody to straighten it out. Correct. <laughs> What's that? Are you going to catch Governor, do you expect to win the Massachusetts primary? Uh, yes. What do you think we're here? Because we've never been here before? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra, how comfortable are you with this sort of political activity? Very comfortable because I've been involved in many elections and with different men, not particularly parties. Uh, I have been a registered Democrat most of my life, but I choose the man or the woman running. And uh, I feel very comfortable. I'm, I'm not an expert, I'm not an analyst, but I. I look for better government each time we have a general election for the presidency and hope to pick a man who will be the winner. 
you think if entertainers' talents and energies are properly devoted in this sort of a fundraising? Why not? The Butcher and Baker does it. Why should not? <laughs> we have time for one more question, uh, Governor. Governor, what's the difference between President Jack Kennedy and Senator Ted Kennedy? Jack Kennedy, I think, had, uh, unfortunately, because of the accident, I think Jack Kennedy had the presence and the, and the uh, aptitude and the knowledge of making a very good president. And uh, I don't know that Teddy has the same... Uh, same knowledge that Jack Kennedy had. Governor, will Chapel Critic become an issue if Mr. Kennedy gets the nomination? Not with me. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Martin Lewis. <laughs> <laughs>